Hi, it's Dave Curlin. And even though I'm smiling, this is my rant of the day. I'm going to share the my top 10 reasons why sales training doesn't usually work. You may not like these, you may not agree with these, but I've been training salespeople at companies for almost 40 years. And I can tell you from experience that it's always these 10 reasons. Number one, the number one reason sales training doesn't work is when a company doesn't agree to having their sales team evaluated up front. The upfront evaluation tells us who can be trained, how much upside they have, what it will take to get them there, and shares with the sales team what they need to work on from training in order to get better. You skip that piece, and no matter how customized the training is compared to what they really need, it looks like off the shelf, out of the box. The second most common reason why sales training doesn't work is that the top executive engaged in getting the training has no compelling reason to do the training. In other words, instead of we're not growing fast enough, our revenue isn't high enough, our revenue is flat, we don't have enough of the market, we're losing too many deals to the competition, we're not retaining enough clients, uh, we're experiencing deals stuck in the pipeline. And instead of one of those compelling reasons to get training, they're just checking off a box. Oh, we need to do training. Check. Well, when that happens, it's, it's not a company initiative. It's just something nice to have. The third most common reason why most sales training doesn't work is the salespeople don't have a compelling reason to change. And if we're really doing sales training the right way, and we're expecting a sales transformation, and we're expecting different results, we need different effort, we need different skills. Well, if the salespeople have no compelling reason to change, change doesn't take place. Therefore, the results don't change. The fourth reason why sales training doesn't work is there's no accountability for change. Sales managers aren't holding the salespeople accountable for doing the things that they've been taught to do through training. The fifth most common reason why sales training doesn't work is the company doesn't have an appropriate sales process. Uh, most companies lack <laughs> most of the stages that are required, lack most of the milestones that are required, don't have a scorecard. So you can train salespeople all you want, but if the sales process isn't best practices, solid, repeatable, predictable, training's not going to work. The sixth reason is the methodology isn't consistent with the sales process or the results that you're trying to achieve. The methodology and the process need to tie together to what the company is trying to do strategically. The seventh reason, the trainer, the trainer doesn't have the team engaged, the team isn't bought in, the team doesn't find it enjoyable, the team doesn't want to attend the training. That's not going to work. Uh, the eighth reason that most sales training doesn't work is that sales training lacks a role play component. You need to role play what good sounds like, and that needs to demonstrate what's being taught in the training. The ninth reason why most sales training doesn't work is that the training isn't real world. In other words, it isn't being applied to that company, that team, that salesperson, and what they face every day. It's too generic. And finally, the 10th reason why most sales training doesn't work is that the sales managers weren't trained to coach to the content that the salespeople are being trained on. Deep breath, Dave end of rant. You fix those 10 things, sales will increase by an incredible amount of, amount of revenue. You don't fix those things. It was training for the sake of training and it won't get you anything. This is Dave Curlin. I hope you found that helpful.